Serious what was the worst thing you have ever accidentally overheard someone say about you? In high school I was in a terrible car accident. My first day back at school 3 weeks later, I walked into my app English class and heard some girl say she honestly should have just died in that accident. Better for everyone that way. She was actually just mad that her boyfriend had broken up with her and very publicly asked me out and that I had beaten her in an important writing contest that the results had been posted for that morning. I was still doing my work when I was out, just couldn't leave my bed. Coincidentally it's also the first time I realized my best friend would always have my back. She hadn't realized I walked in and verbally destroyed that bitch in front of about 12 of her friends. She has lupus, so you should probably consider breaking up with her. It's probably not worth it. Said by my so's parents on a week long trip they invited me on, with me stuck thousands of miles from home. Eat my dick, pap. Eat it. When I was sick, and was just laying in my bed one morning, my mom asked my dad to check on me to see if I was okay. He responded with snot my daughter. He didn't check up on me. I'm not sure if I misheard, since I have hearing problems despite having hearing aids. I never ended up confronting them about it, because I was too scared that I actually heard him correctly. My stepdad insisting I was sleeping with my boyfriend, wasn't, and that I'd wind up just like my mother, pregnant at a young age. My mom got mad, because obviously it wasn't easy being a teenage parent, but she did well for herself and for me. This eventually turned into a yelling match about why he would date slash marry her, if he had a problem with her having me at a young age and him trying to backtrack and bring up other issues to deflect. Turns out he had the right thing, just the wrong kid. My sister, his biological daughter, had my lovely nephew days, before she turned 18. In 6th grade the popular kids went to one kid's birthday party. Don't know how, but I found out about it existing, and my parents forced me to go. This was back when all the boys were invited to birthday parties, and I overheard the birthday boy telling someone that I wasn't invited. Really sucked. I was once staying in a room with two others on a school trip 12 years ago. The rooms next to us had others from the school and there was a gap on the balcony you could crawl under to get to the next room. The other two went to play cards with the next room, but I decided to get some sleep. Trip was in another country, and I was tired. When they came back, I was laying with my back to them appearing asleep but very much awake. They started insulting me. Dumb bitch. Dick. Retarded. Talentless. Friendless. Why do we have to share a room with him? It went on for a long time. Hurt me a lot, as they asked me to be in their room. I lay there, and didn't move a muscle for hours. Promptly stopped associating with them, as soon as we returned. Was dating my ex, and was at a house and we were outside, went in to use the bathroom, and left them outside. Little did they know, the ground level window was open, so I could hear them start talking, and it went a little like this. Friend, I can't believe you're dating. That piece of shit, has fucking creepy ex, I know, I told you has a rebound for jack friend, as long as you get rid of him, has so annoying to be around. This is why you're going to college, so you're not doing what she is. Some dad to his high school kid, while I was waiting tables. It paid my way through undergrad and first year of my masters, before I found a job in my related field. Not that bad compared to other comments on this post, but hurt like heck at the time. I was in primary school, and had one friend for years, and one day I tried to reach out to others, to maybe get a bit more friends. Birthday parties were getting lonely with only one other person. Anyways, I found another kid, that I got friendly with, and I thought they genuinely wanted me as a friend too, until I overheard them talking to one of the popular kids saying, no, don't worry. I only thought of my name as a backup anyways. They henceforth avoided eye contact and never spoke with me again as I spent the next couple of years with my one other friend. As a kid I was overly sensitive according to my relatives. Anyhow, one day, I was spending time at my uncle's house and I don't remember why, but I cried because he and my mother as well as my grandma ganged up on me with criticisms. So, me being hurt, I cried. My uncle whispered to my mom that I'd never finish high school because I was weak and crying all the time. Later that day, my mother told me to my face that I embarrassed her. 
just this year, I got into Akla. Fuck my uncle and his bullshit lmao. I'm fluent in Greek, but I don't look Greek at all. When I was a lot younger I walked into a restaurant with my girlfriend at the time. The couple next to us was constantly talking about us in Greek. Just wrecking me mostly. Such as, how is this one tenth with this ten tenths? Muscle head must be on steroids. His pants and shirt don't even fit. I bet he has a small dick and small balls. Probably no money and is abusive. His parents should have done him the favor of aborting him at birth. Finally out of nowhere, I wrote on a piece of paper in Greek something like, You are hurting my feelings. I don't understand why you people are rude and evil. Please stop and passed it on to them. When we left the bill was covered. My mom overheard that her mother was raped and that's how she came to be. She heard it from her aunts talking to one another. She now tells me to be very careful when talking about my 6 year old cousin's father who was a drug dealer and is now in prison. Fresh out of college and in my first job, I overheard a co-worker talking to a mutual friend, also a co-worker, making fun of me because I was copying how she and her friends speak to each other when I talk to them. I just tend to mirror behavior as a way to fit in because I was socially awkward, but it was never intentional. It just happens, and I usually notice it after the fact. It made me super self-conscious to the point that when I'm around them, I just try very hard not to have any personality at all. Eventually, I talked to one of our older and more mature co-workers, and a good friend of mine now, about it and she gave me really good advice. She told me to use that little weird behavior I have to my advantage. Instead of surrounding myself with mean and judgmental people like her, I should surround myself with people I want to be like, so I can emulate their behavior which is what I did. Instead of hanging out with co-workers my age, the mean girls, I started hanging out with our more senior co-workers. I learned a lot from them, and I got more opportunities, because they liked me, and picked me over the others. I'm 10 years into my career now, and I've been the top performer for many many years. And I still, don't surround myself with people, who would bring me down. It's by no means the worst, but it cut me so deep and still echoes around in my head today. I was bullied mercilessly all throughout school. One year I thought to myself screw this, I'm going to stand up for myself. The first week, some new girl in my class I'd never seen, before started mocking me, so I tried to bravely stand up and tell her to quit it, but the whole rest of the class laughed at me, grabbed the new girl, walked off and said to her erg, just don't worry about it 5th3m wonkster. It made me feel so small and insignificant. No one in my entire school cared about me at all, and hearing my fellow classmates tell this new girl I'd never met before to completely dismiss my existence was absolutely soul crushing. I can still play that moment in my head exactly as it happened, and it has been over 10 years. That I'm not supposed to be born. Originally my father didn't want another child beside my older brother, but my mother unexpectedly got pregnant with me. When I overheard this I was crushed. I know he loves me though, but because of this, whenever the family situation isn't good, I often think, would it be better for my family if I never been born? I had my head down in class and overheard two girls talking about how I smelled. That really got to me, especially since I'm a borderline germaphobe. After that I doubled up on everything like showers, oral hygiene, face washing, etc. Every day at school I would always worry about how I smelled and it would make me slightly depressed at times and give me anxiety about going to that class. To this day I still feel insecure about how I smell to others. Edit, this only happened in one class so in every other class no one would ever complain about a smell, but as soon as it is that class I could hear them complain about a smell and I just felt like that could have been me. My parents said that though they hoped that my boyfriend has even seen me because I'm extremely ugly. Thanks parents. No wonder I have zero confidence and trust issues. They talk about me behind my back, lying and talking bad about me, just to make themselves feel better constantly. I have never had trouble getting men, and I'm complimented on my looks, and am hit on the whole time. They must be projecting their ugliness onto me. I wouldn't say worst, but it's not nice. My mum weighs about 140 kgs, 
has had both hips and a knee replaced, went through menopause at 37, and has all these other ailments like osteoarthritis and fatty liver disease. She'd rather pop a pill than do anything else to somehow ease her illnesses and the primary thing that would contribute to a better life is her losing the weight. I have had a laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy 5 years ago, suffered with cough since 11, and so still didn't lose weight as much as other women, and have now been keto for 3 years. After finding out I had serious food allergies, wheat slash yeast slash soy, so I'm very mindful of food, nutrition, exercise etc. I do Olympic weightlifting 3 times per week, strength training, horse riding and yoga for physical and mental health. I've lost over 45 kgs on my journey and improved my life significantly. As a result, I've also had to buy clothing that fits and get used to wearing things more form fitting. So over Christmas mum bought me all these things from a store that were size XXXL I think that would be 20 to 22 AU at the store she purchased from. I could see just looking at the garment it wouldn't fit, but in my mum's eyes I'm as fat as her. So I tell her it doesn't fit, and she doesn't believe me, until I put the pyjama pants on, and pulled the waistband over my head. Instead of laughing about it, she got pissed off. We went to that store to change the items, but being that I've not purchased from them, before I didn't know what size I would fit. So I'm trying two sizes and she purposely wants me to wear the larger size. I do a few swaps, and put the smaller size on. And she says oh that's lovely, and when I tell her it's the smaller size she says it's grabbing at the back. It wasn't. So I hear the sales lady come up, and she asks my mum if I'm okay, and my mum says she's lost a little bit of weight and wants to wear everything tighter now. I couldn't believe it. I took everything off, and opened the curtain, and threw them back at her, and told her she could buy something for herself with the credit from the store. Fucking rude, condescending bitch. It's your mum. And you don't want to think she's jealous or dislikes you, but more and more I think she doesn't like me at all, if she can behave like that. My husband says she's jealous, because she can't even bend, to tie her shoes let alone walk even 100 meters without panting, like she ran a marathon. Why couldn't he have been a good Christian girl instead of an unlovable piece of atheistic shit of a son? Mother 2010. Really boosts the self esteem. My brother's only use is to exist, so I can attract people brother 2014. Always the asshole. Final one. I don't actually care about Ocapillizard. I use him for attention and shit. X 2018. I have more, but these ones I remember the clearest. My mother cheated on her husband, Tom and got pregnant with me. Tom decided to raise me as his own from when I was about 5 because he loved my mother and they already had two kids together. Never really knew Tom wasn't my biological father growing up, accidentally found out when I was 16. Always called him dad and still do as he raised me but I didn't love him like my friends loved their dads or feel any connection to him and I never knew why. He and my mother both drank and fought a lot, and when she was at work on the night shift, he'd get drunk, and become verbally abusive to me and my siblings, and would, very rarely, hit us. I was always a bit scared of him. I never felt connected to his family, though I knew them to be my aunts, uncles, and grandparents. Always thought it was strange that I felt this way, but again didn't know why. Even as a small child I'd feel awkward and insecure around them, as if I was never good enough. Moreover, Tom would often make comments about my weight, so I stopped eating around him. I remember he'd say to my face I don't get it. You're as big as a house, but I never see you eat. This turned into me never wanting to eat in front of people, eating in secret and binge eating. I must have been about 10. My grandmother, Tom's mother, would come over every Sunday after church to have coffee and chat with my mother. I'd usually say a polite hello and then go into my room. She'd quite often bring very old chocolates over for us all. Really old I'm talking. Three Easter's ago, fully bloomed chocolate. Anywho, I remember being in my room and overhearing her tell my mother don't let Tiffany see the chocolate. I really don't have many memories from childhood, and I assume I repressed a lot of them. She died when I was 16, but I don't really have any specific memories of her other than that memory, but that one I remember very clearly as it hurt so much. 
basically made me feel even worse about my body, and a part of me also felt singled out, because it seemed she liked my brother and sister more, but I never understood why, they were her biological grandchildren. If I'd hear something like that about me now I'd be like excuse me bitch, what did you say? Which I owe all stale chocolate have in ass. I guess you have to define worst. I've heard shit said, that isn't true or is, but I'm not the one with the problem like a thing. The one that I would call worst was the day I disowned my husband's parents. Long story short, when I first started dating my husband they hated me for no reason, and would judge me without even knowing me. Eventually they seemed to get over it, and they acted like they liked me for several years. Then one day they called my husband and tried to force him to do something he didn't want to do. He was 33 at the time and still scared to say no to them, so I told them no. His mom told me to put him back on the phone. I did but I was still sitting next to him and heard all her bullshit that I was controlling and manipulative when that's actually her problem. 